conservatives are on the side of God, right? When you are talking about Marxism, you are literally talking about an ideology that does not believe in God. Karl Marx did not believe in God. They were and- this faith, people that took on that ideology, right? You talk about Lenin, you talk about Stalin. Faith was not allowed in their communities because they wanted to make sure they were fostering a community of narcissistic, atheistic individuals mm. that believed in nothing but the government. They wanted the government to well, imagine talking about any group of other any other large group of people. First of all, she's trying to do the classic atheists or communists bull crap which makes me wonder why anybody would consider her to be an intellectual. Like, are you serious, lady? Do you know how many times, how many times do we have to respond to this? Oh, like, well, they fact, don't believe in God. Yeah. You responded yeah. to this in your book. Oh, yeah. <laughs> why there is no God. I did, I did. Should I but, go find your response? <laughs> no, 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 it's okay. <laughs> Um, wait, if you do it right away, if you do it fast, yeah, sure. But come on, lady, come on. Like, are you serious? Is this what you have? Like, you know, if we want to play this game, you know what we could do with your belief system, yeah? You know what we can go with, what we could go with Christianity and let the list of the people who call themselves Christians and the crap that they did. Do you know you, if you want to use the same standards, like, we don't do guilt by association, right? We call out like how many, how often here we have like done and not just anti-communist, anti-CCP, anti-Lenin, anti-Marxist, anti the crimes of the communist regimes. Uh-huh. You know, show me like yeah, has anybody ever, ever, ever been able to successfully show that that anything wrong with the communists? or the crimes that they committed, or any economical I- issues that they uh, brought upon the societies that they were ruling over, has any of that got to do with their lack of belief in God? Isn't all of this, isn't all of these arguments disputed by the fact, going in my book. I have, my book. should I, should I, should I yes. disclose what you wrote already? When, sure. when was this published? 2014. You've been on the record on this for, well, well I can assure that. you much longer than this, but on the written <laughs> page. Right. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> page 99, second paragraph of chapter 17. Atheism has killed more people than religion, so it must be wrong. Let me begin. While it's true that Stalin and Mao were corrupt leaders who denounced religion among their people, suggesting that their depravity was caused by atheism, or that the behavior was at all indicative of atheism as a whole, simply does not follow. Similarly, the idea that atheism somehow is uniquely responsible for depotism um, is clearly false. History is filled with examples of religious uh, of the religious whose beliefs were directly responsible for murder and violence. And then there's a citation for that. Yet, such direct relationship has not been seen with secular tyrants. If anything, non-religious dictators themselves act more like religious zealots, elevating themselves as deities in the cult of personality that they've developed. And then it goes on to say more about how atheism has no doctrines and then on page 102 you further delineate your stance on the cult of personality which i would agree with as someone who has studied cult psychology Hmm. and totalistic and absolutist dogma as delineated by dr robert j lifton and the cult survivor and cult expert stephen hassan interesting wow thank you so much (laughs) 